about a game. It's a red skin. Well, well, well. <laughs> Y'all, it has. It hasn't been that long since I've seen you guys, but it has been a long time since we've done one of these videos. So, a lot of my subscribers have been inboxing me and texting me and messaging, DMing me, asking me, <laughs> when am I going to bring my budgeting videos back? And I was like, I'm going to bring them back the 1st of January, which was my plan um to bring them back at the first of january but um <laughs> after talking to my husband about it i decided to bring them back now so here we are child this is going to be a very transparent video so um let's just Start like this. I am Key. <laughs> this is Key's Playing Life. Um, we're gonna learn how to budget together properly. I do have a degree in business management as well as human resource management. I did take a financial aid planning course. So I'm very familiar on how to manage money. Although I do not manage it correctly, I am familiar with how to manage money. So I am going to be resetting my life, if that makes sense. Okay, so y'all know when I first started budgeting, I was on a roll. I was doing my cash envelopes. I was doing my tracking. I was... Really taking care of business. And then life struck. And before I met my husband, a lot of things transpired. And it put me in debt. So now what you see here before your eyes is me in a process of trying to get out of those debts. Um, we're working with a zero balanced budget. Yeah. Along with... A not so good savings account if I'm being honest so what I will say is we're starting over it is okay to start over just because your financial planning doesn't go as planned or what you envisioned it to be doesn't mean that you can't start over there's no time there's like no specific time that you have to start over or you need a reset or you need you can do this anytime you want to so I'm resetting I'm starting over. I'm back to square one. Just because I want to do better financially. I want to really save money. I have a problem spending money. I love to spend money. I love to shop. I feel like you can't take it with you when you leave. So you might as well spend it. But that's an irresponsible, immature way of looking at money. Because, yes, you can't take it with you. But you may need it for emergencies. You may need it for... Um, Important things that may transpire and come about in life. So you need to be able to have fun, yes, but also save and prepare for those moments and those times that may come up. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We are going to go on a journey of saving. I'm back starting my $5 challenges, my dollar challenges. I am going back to budgeting for the month. I'm going back. I'm not going to be doing the cash envelopes, but I am, if that makes sense. So I will be tracking my cash envelopes on every dollar, but I won't be physically having cash envelopes. So we're going to be doing this digital, digitally, if that makes sense. Even my fives and ones. And you're like, how are you going to do your fives and one challenge digitally? Okay, so I have a few checking accounts. And a few savings accounts. So my personal checking and savings account is what we're going to do the five and ones challenge out of. So my personal checking account is the account where I have my spending money for the every two weeks. I have my spending money. And then my personal savings is my personal savings for me to do what I want to do. Well, in this instance, my personal savings is going to be used for me a car. Because what I decided was I didn't want a car note. 
because I don't want to do a car note. I've done car notes. I'm over it. I want to pay cash for my car. So in order to do that, I need to be able to save for it. And at first I wasn't taking it seriously because I was like, okay, we got a car. But I really need my own car. Because although me and my husband carpool because we work like minutes away from each other, I still need to have my own car in the event that he has to work late or I have something else to do or I need to run it. We just need another car, period. So I'm saving for a car. Um, so for the fives and ones challenge, what I decided is we're going to work off of odd numbers. Yeah, odd, odd numbers. So for instance, let's say I have $1,000 and I spend a dollar. That leaves me with $999, right? So four of, those dollars, four of those dollars, if I had cash, would be ones. The other other uh, piece of change would be five and then that would leave me with $990. So I would put that five and that four in my savings, which is $9. That's the fives and the ones. If that's making sense. If that's not making sense, I don't know how else to break it down to you. Um, so we're going to always try to keep an even number in the account, if that makes sense. If it's an odd number, we're going to subtract it either by fives or ones or both. Um, for my personal spending money, I have put myself on a $200 every two weeks allowance. And with that, that goes for like my nails. Um, if I want to do like a little after pay situation, which I'm probably not. Because I promised myself until I get my car, I'm not buying anything else. And you probably like, girl, stop lying. I am dead serious, y'all. I'm not buying nothing else. Like, when I say, y'all have, y'all know me. So when I say I have everything that a girl could possibly want, I have everything. There is nothing that I want. When I buy stuff now, I just buy it because I, I want it. It's not because I need it. I literally buy stuff because I want it. I have every possible thing that a girl could possibly want except my car. So... Right now, my focus is on my car. So, only thing I may be doing is getting my nails done. And if I don't use all, utilize all that money by the end of those two weeks, that money goes to my savings account, and we start over again with the next two hundred and so forth. Now, don't get me wrong, your girl might every Friday or something treat herself to lunch at work. But I might. I don't know. Just to feel like I'm not just just to don't just so I won't get burnt out on savings. I might, that might be my Friday treat. I might treat myself to lunch on Fridays. Little $15, $20 lunch, DoorDash, Uber Eats, something like that. My other accounts, okay, so the, my personal account and my personal checking is with my credit union. My other personal accounts are with Capital One. I can tell y'all that because y'all know my account number, so it don't even matter. But my other accounts are with Capital One. In those accounts are our joint account, our joint savings accounts that we have. Um, our rainy day fund and our our what else? Our joint account, our rainy day fund, rainy day fund, the account we pay the bills out of, and just another extra account that's just sitting there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use that for, but I didn't want to close it just in case I want to incorporate that into something. So, oh, uh, I said we was gonna be transparent, so we gonna be transparent. Like our accounts took a big hit simply this past pay this past month because we did two things. We made two big purchases. We bought living room furniture, we bought a mattress for our bed. And we spent money on our mattress simply because that's where we get our rest. I need a good night's sleep. He need a good night's sleep. We need to be comfortable when we wake up in the morning. We need to feel refreshed. I was tired of waking up and my back was hurting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm 42 years old. I need to be comfortable when I sleep. And he needs to feel comfort when he sleeps. So we spent money on our mattress. So our accounts took a big hit. And then my sister's birthday came. So we spent money for her birthday. I don't regret spending that money because we're not going to spend like that for a while. We had our fun. It's a wrap. It's over. Back to the real world. So... To be transparent, because I want to be on the up and up with you guys, because I want you to know that it's never too late to start over, and we're going to go on this journey together, and we're going to save this money and get our stuff together, together. This is part one. 
the next video will be me giving you the breakdown of everything and we're gonna be going through it so hold on because i have to log in okay so in the chest chase joint accounts and we're gonna talk about the debt and all that in the joint savings we got 338 dollars um in the rainy day fund we don't have anything in there in the bill account where we pay bills because we done paid majority of our bills for october we have 89 dollars and 55 cent now in my savings my personal savings account i have 116 dollars and my checking account i don't have no dollars because i went shopping one day last time <laughs> I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I went shopping one day at a time. I do have credit card debt. I have one, two, three, four credit cards. My debt with my credit cards all together equals up to possibly $1,000. It's no more than $1,000 though. But that is my credit card debt. And I am currently paying on debt. Um, so I will take you through that. And in the next video, we'll get, get with the balances on what's owed on that and um stuff like that and we'll also get a breakdown of monthly bills um but i just decided that instead of waiting till the first of the year to come to you guys and let's get this thing started and and for you guys to know that it's never too late to start over it's not we we're gonna make mistakes i made some very unsmart financial decisions before i met my husband and now i'm trying to fix them and he's trying to help me fix them and that's not for me i feel bad i'm down myself more just because i have experience with financial planning i know business i know but i don't know i've been wild i had wild out i ain't gonna even lie to y'all um i had a nice cushion a real nice cushion and I, oh, after my divorce from my uh, my ex-husband i i really wowed out and i tripped out and i allowed other people to put me in debt you know what i'm not gonna even blame him i put me in debt because i was doing more for people other people than doing for myself so now i am back in square one trying to figure it out I acquired um, certain bills that I should not have taken on. I should have did what I'm doing now, which is saving for my car. But I wanted, I I had a bougie moment and I was like, I'm not getting back on the bus. I, before I get back on the bus, I just take that debt. When, in actuality, ain't nothing wrong riding the bus. Like, nothing. <laughs> like, it's cheaper to ride the bus than it is for a car note, to be honest. So, I really tripped out. I wasn't thinking. So now I'm in this place of we're working with one car, trying to get a second car. I want to pay cash for that car. He wants to pay cash for that car. So now it's about budgeting and saving for this car. A big chunk of that money that we're going to accumulate for that car is going to be my taxes. I'm going to use that whole thing to put towards my car plus the money that I'm going to additionally save along the way. Um... But we're, we're just going to go on this ride on this journey together. So I hope you guys are willing to go on this journey and ride with me. Um, I know we're like in the middle of October. But it's still the beginning because today is what? The 8th? I'm going to post this video Friday. Um, and then that next week I'll probably do a budget breakdown. Probably, I'll probably get my budget breakdown that Monday. You'll see that video the following Monday. Um, and we're going to go through everything piece by piece. Like, I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. We're going to be upfront. We're going to be honest. We're going to crunch these numbers. Um, so if you're like me or you want to go on this journey with me, feel free to do so. Um, around these parts, we, we split the bills. I don't know how y'all doing y'all household and that's y'all business. Because that's y'all household. But because I don't want, I, I'm a helpmate. And yes, my husband makes very good money and he can handle all these bills by himself. But I don't want him to handle all these bills by himself. That I feel like for me, for my household, I'm not saying for everybody else. Well, it flush your boat, flush your boat. Now, if we was millionaires, we wouldn't be worried about this. But we not. We American working citizens that's making ends meet. 
So I don't want that pressure to be on him where he feel like he got to handle all this by himself. That's a lot of pressure for one person. And it can become stressful trying to maintain a home on your own. And when I say your own, if he's paying all the bills, he's basically maintaining the home on his own. So I work. I can contribute. So we have in these bills because outside of our rent, outside of our gas bill, our light bill, our cable bill, our inter I mean, yeah, we don't have cable, our internet bill. We have our own personal stuff, like our cell phone bills, his car note, the car insurance that we pay together because we both use this car, the car insurance, his cell phone bill, um, my credit card bills. Um, I have Canva subscriptions that I'm paying for. So we have in these bills. That way everybody's doing their part. We're doing it equally. We're doing it together. And nobody feels like they're doing more than the other because we're both putting in on these bills. Um, so it is equally split. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, I know a lot of people be like, I'm not gonna be with a man that pay all the that don't pay all the bills, and if he can't support a family, he don't need to be married. This man can support a family, but he got a wife that can su help support the family too, and I'm capable and able, and it works for us. Now, like I said, what you do in your household is what you do in your household, but what we do in our household is what we do, and if that's not your cup of tea, that's cool. You can tune out. If it's your cup of tea or you want to see how we do things, then you can tune in. It's a choice, you know. So, <laughs> um, also, like I said, we'll have um, what we bring in together as far as our halves each month. Um, my, it'll probably be a little more just because once, I believe, once he pay his half, and we put the money up for the savings. Whatever he got left over is his business. He got his own personal check and his own personal savings. So whatever he have in there, that's his business. Now if I ask, he'll tell me. But I don't ask because that's his money. And he's free to do what, they, what he wants to. I'm free to do what I do over here. What we do in the middle is together. So <laughs> I will be taking you guys on this journey. Like I said, I can't wait to share this with you guys. Um, like I said, I was going to wait till the first of the year, but so many people have been asking, so I decided to bring it back. So I just want to let you know, we are back budgeting. We're going to get these funds in order. We're going to get these savings in order. We're going to do these challenges. We're going to get, we're going to go for what we know, and we're going to be successful at it. And what I will say is when I was doing it this way, it helped me be accountable because I was more, I knew you guys were watching me and I knew that. I had to make sure that my ducks was in a row and that I was living up to what I was showing. So it made me more accountable. So I am ready to have that accountability again. And I know that you guys will be rooting for me and cheering me on just like I'll be rooting and cheering you guys on. And I can't wait to get on this journey with you guys. So stay tuned. And next week we are going to do a breakdown of all the bills and um, everything that has to be paid in, in the Anderson household. You will see this look again because this is going to be a part one, part two video. So <laughs> get ready. This is part one. I'm going to get ready to film part two and it will be up. Part two will be uploaded next Monday. I'm going to upload this probably Thursday and then y'all will have the other video Monday. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to let y'all know we back budgeting. We back saving money. We back doing challenges. We back doing the thing and we're going to do this together and we're going to do, we're going to be successful. Like I said, so remember to think smart, spend smart, and have fun planning it all out. I am Key. This is Key's Plan Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, one more thing. If y'all see some hauls after these budgeting videos, just know I pre-upload, okay? Today is October the 8th. But the other videos, they out there. I pre-uploaded all that stuff. And I spaced it out because I like to push my video pre-upload and schedule my videos so they come out on certain days. But all that stuff I bought, I've been bought it, okay? It's okay. <laughs> I just got to do a disclaimer because y'all will see the rest of them videos after this and be like, I thought she said she was budgeting. We was going on a saving journey. Like, she ain't living what she said. I am. I swear I am. That stuff was pre-uploaded. And, yeah, I, 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 went, I went a little crazy. So, I just got to give y'all that disclaimer so y'all won't think I'm not walking the walk and talking the talk because I am. But from here on out... Y'all will see those videos 
And in between that, I'm going to still drop my budgeting videos for each month. But just those videos you see up until December, those are pre-uploaded. And I not already spent that money way in September in the beginning of October. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. I do have... Oh, I do have one more haul. Two more hauls. Because, like I said, I went shopping before I decided to bring this video back. And I have a wig haul and a sheet in haul. So, y'all will see those hauls probably de December. But December is the last haul video y'all going to see for a while. Unless it's like cleaning supplies and stuff we need for the house and stuff like that. It will not be clothes, shoes, wigs, perfumes. It won't be none of that stuff. It's just going to strictly be household stuff. I just got to let y'all know because I don't want y'all to see them videos and be like, she lying. I am not lying. I promise we budgeting. We in this thing. We doing this together. Me and you. All right. Peace.